What's up gamers, GF Ditto here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spectrobes. Last time we found the keystone that we got sent to Treasure Hunt for, and we got a nice little cube that allows us to now fully evolve our Spectrobes. Which, we do have a full party of adult Spectrobes right now, but evolved ones are a little ways off. Um, let's... Let's report back to the commander and find out what's next. Hoggis, right? Roland, we have an urgent incoming transmission from the commander. Roland, Gina, headquarters has just been attacked by black vortexes. Return to Colin at once. We need all the help we can. Commander, commander, what is it? What's happening? What the? Ugh. Commander, you're breaking up. Commander, do you read me? The transmission's been cut off. Roland, he said Black Vortex has attacked headquarters. This could mean the crawl have targeted Colin for invasion. I mean, they've targeted all of Nanaira, buddy. Come on. We've got to get back there now. The commander and the rest of the Colin could be in grave danger. Roger that. Leave it to me, Gina. All systems go. Prepare to launch. Let's do this. Ikuze! Alright, so back to Colin. Where we have only been once, and that was to upgrade our equipment. Alright. Headquarters, which I always have trouble navigating because it's headquarters. You know what? Let's make sure everybody's healed up because I don't remember if if we were fully healed. Because I did the incubator thing and that's where we saved, so. Alright. Let's go save Colin. Alright, now here's the thing. I don't think there are any dig spots around here either. I, I know there are on planet, I just don't think they're here. Okay. Um, Mutilas, three of them. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. We're, we're not dealing with this right now. I don't know how I didn't see that coming. Help! Help! There's a black vortex inside headquarters! I don't know what that voice was. Holiday music, but it's Frank Sriracha singing about how hot it is. I mean... Alright, respect for the cleverness behind that name, by the way. We're in a bit of a pinch here. Roland, we need some assistance. I've got upgraded items. Need any? Yes, please. Thank you. I'm not even worried about the glove. Um, need some armor. 7,500... 5,000... Do I really need armor? Don't forget to equip items after you purchase them. They won't do you any good unless you equip them. Yeah, well, maybe I should have done more grinding. Then I'd, I'd be able to afford decent armor. Oh, shh. Or, you know, healing items. Metrak and Plavix. Um, you know what? Let's try and cheese them. Oh, crap. They got lasers, too. That's what worries me, because... Oh, and missiles! And missiles! We're, we're beyond screwed. <laughs> I really, really wish my Spectrobes were better equipped to deal with this, but that wouldn't... Yeah, no, we're out. <laughs> no, we can do this, we can do this. Without taking too much damage, I hope. Oh, yeah, no. No, we're, we're done. 
crap. I, I can't let Mace take that kind of damage. I have some kind of healing item, right? Did I catch the... No, I didn't catch the awards. By 50. Ugh. I don't have much choice. That's really all I have. I think I'm meant to be going this way. They're everywhere. Rowan, you're back! It looks like our weapons don't have any effect on the vortexes. No, they don't. Rowan, just leave this to us. Get on down to the chief's office quickly. Where is the chief's office? Did I make a wrong turn? Should I have continued left? Um, yeah, I think this is the way. These vortexes will chase you. The only thing I was somewhat into was a new Star Wars Wonder Woman game in Plague Sale 2. Interesting. Oh, crap. Did anything else get announced? I mean, I'm sure things did. As they tend to do. Oh! Galactic Gargoyles! That's the biggest crawl I've seen yet! That is the weirdest exclama exclamatory swear I've ever heard in my life. Galactic Gargoyles? Fuck, Rollin, just say holy shit or something. God. Pretty boring awards. Eh, fair. Rollin, you're just in time. What are these foul things? Our weapons don't have any effect on them. Leave this to me, Commander. I have the Spectrobes with me. Attacking NTP headquarters was a faulty move. It's game over for you now, Crawl Slime. Prepare for extinction. Let's do this! Ikuze! All right, an actual genuine boss fight. Guess what I'm doing? Holy crap, that thing's got 500 hit points. Oh, and it moves rather quickly. Okay. Wow, oh wow, oh this could be bad. Yeah, okay. Um, about that, I think I need to take some time and the rest of this episode is going to be... <laughs> uh, we, we need to beef up a bit. And by a bit, I mean, uh, let's go find all the things we didn't find on Nessa. Um. Yeah. We, we just got absolutely decimated there. So hopefully, uh, hopefully... Headquarters can hold their own while we do a little bit of, you know, finding things and prepping up. Because honestly, I have no idea how much use I'm going to be to them uh, if, if I'm dead. Right here feels like a spot. It's not. And that is, once again, the wrong... All right, well, we're going to head for the ruins to do those that excavation. Because I get the feeling... 
couple things there we're gonna want. Obviously, we want powerful minerals and whatnot. The fact of the matter is, we can't, uh, we can't do too much without minerals. Oh. Oh, shh. Oh. You know what else we can't do too much of anything without? Spectrobes. This game does not automatically heal you when you die. All right. So yes, we're gonna we're gonna look for new fossils, gather up minerals while we're here, um, maybe get some more A rank ones, and then I've realized that I think I read that child form spectrobes just need time in the incubator, whereas from uh, adult to evolved, they need a certain amount of time and a. Uh, and, like, set requirements. Well. Here's the thing. I'm beginning to think what I read there was wrong. Because... Shacken... Uh, okay, Fencer and uh, Kuma have been in that incubator for a decent amount of time. And they've not shown any signs of evolving so something's missing which means there must be more of a requirement so i'm gonna end up needing to farm minerals to feed them to evolve them or any of them that i want to that i want to see um hit those stages all right let's start with the fossil here this is a dongo pod that's new and I do believe there are several new fossils here that we have not uncovered yet, which is kind of why I'm doing this uh, during the episode instead of off screen, is so I can show off uh, the other spectrums that can be found. I'm fully intending to awaken them and everything. I don't think I'm getting a custom part on this. What am I missing? There it is. No, nope, no custom part. That's fine. We got the dongle pod, though. Well, we're here. I don't know if we need the cube or not, but that's basically money. It's another theta cube. I think the theta cube might be guaranteed. Um, I know the cube space is uh, all but guaranteed. It might actually be 100%. I don't remember the differences in the tables between the first game and the second game. But we're gonna... We are hunting for some... Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. Defense A, I'll take it. Uh, we're definitely gonna be hunting for some very interesting spectrobes here. Dongo is one of them. Um... I don't know what all spectrobes appear here, but there is one that I am looking forward to getting more than the others. Goes uh, very much hand in hand with uh, Fencer. At least in my party, it always has. Alright, come on, give me more A's. Oh, this is one of the, uh, the mixed ones. So it's basically like a. The color will tell you it's basically a C, but for two stats. So I'm wondering if I don't just need to level up, you know, the ones that are sitting in the incubator that have been there for a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do it on screen. Except parts like this where I couldn't get by it. Sure. Let's take the SWAT twigs and the Perturova. Um, let's just deal with them. Whoa. 
Whoa, what the hell? Okay, never mind. Don't get in there with my... And then, also, in between episodes, I'm gonna keep the grind going. That way we can come back dummy thick. At least with the party we've got now. I am not looking to uh, lose to that boss a second time. I will say one thing this game has going for it is its level of challenge. This game has a really, really decent level of challenge to it. But at the same time, it is oh so fun. I enjoy this. Um, and this one, as clunky as it is, is definitely still super fun. Um, I tend to, when, when it comes to this series, and we'll, we'll get into this more as we play through the entire series, um, I tend to like each game more, um, like, I tend to l enjoy each newer game a little more than the previous. So, like, I enjoy this one, but I enjoy Spectrobes 2 more than this. And then I enjoy the third one even more. <sighs> now all of YouTube gets to see what I have to put up with. It's another Dongapod. Cool. I'm really hoping to find a grill pod somewhere in here. That's, that's the fossil I am most excited to find at this point. And, uh... So I'm not going to do any evolving anything off-screen. Because I want to show all that off for this Let's Play. You know, how, how are you going to Let's Play a Monster Trainer game and not show... You know, the monsters evolving or, you know, each individual monster you get. Like, come on. Literally all day and I'm still not awake enough for the puns. The level of puns we get on this channel is actually horrifying. I mean, if, if you're into puns, um, definitely check out my Twitch channel. It's in the... The link is in the description below. Uh, we, we get more than my fair share of them. So I think I also want to take a moment in the incubator to try and raise uh, Kuma and and fencer to see if I can't get them to evolve. Ow. Those ones that are just way at the top there. I'm going to call you... You're really cute. You've got spikes. Um, I'm gonna call you Thorn. Because why not? Why not? Alright, let's check the incubator and see about, uh... See about giving some levels, because... If I raise their levels, these two could be really useful uh, for this boss fight. Um, let's see. Okay, this would have to go to Fencer. You know what? Hang on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna level them individually here because I don't want them eating each other's minerals. So I'm going to go ahead and feed Fencer. I'm going to give him all of the big power ones right now. Because attack is his is its main stat anyway. Then I can focus on, like, HP and defense. I mean, defense requires more to level up. Okay, level 6, still not ready to evolve. Here we go. Come on. Another level up. 
Awesome. Oh, okay. It needed to be level 7, I'm guessing? Hang on. Oh, yes, now I get to show off. I'm gonna have to make room on the team for you. You chose their card. Oh, no. Look at that. There we go. Fencer is amazing. Fencer is ready to uh, join the party. Alright, Kuma. Kuma's also a really, really powerful one once evolved, so let's see what I can do to make that happen. You know what? I'm not even going to screw around. Um, I'll take this. Oh, wait. Plus 30 to one, minus 8 to another. I don't want to give it this one because that's minus 8 to attack. Minus 8 to defense. I can do that. If I give it this one first. Okay, then let's give it some more HP. And some defense. Okay. So, the downside to these, uh, these upgraded ones is they'll do plus 30 for one stat, and then minus 8 to another. Which, I mean, makes up for itself, but if you, if you strate strategize it, like I'm doing right here, you can get around a lot of that. Alright, here. Here, have some HP. some defense. Oh yeah, it's defense is kind of lacking. Let's get you some more minerals. I think I take this... I think I take it all the way up to 10. And then... Kind of go from there. Like, that's my thought process. I take it I take it all the way up to 10, and then, uh... Or, or if it evolves before that. Then I can go ahead and grind further later. I would like to add its evolution to my battle party, though. I would definitely replace, uh... Probably Zosane for it. Okay, HP could use a bit more. Uh, attack and defense are kind of close-ish as well. You know what? Let's feed you a platinum too. Why not? Let's get some points in HP here. Now, the funny thing about Spectrobes is you can feed them as many minerals as you want in this game, I believe, until they reach level 99, and then their stat spread is just however you did it. Although, if you raised them to that level entirely by battling, then, um... Let's get you another HP one just to get there. If you did it entirely by battling, then their their stat spread should be balanced for their species. Oh crap! You're ready. Here, I just I want you to eat this. There, 180. Nice. And now we've got some power. We 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 still have to level up, but now we've got some power uh, on our side. Look at that. That's a Komodo. And yeah, I'm not leaving you in the incubator any longer, but Dongo can go in, or Thorn. And let's take a quick look at our other incubator box. I'm not going to try and boost them right this moment. Samukabu's pretty powerful. I just want to check to see if either of them were ready to evolve. They are not. Um, all right. And with that, we have some brand new power for our party. Um... We're going to end the episode off here, and I'm going to uh, hit the grind.
hard for our team to try and get the levels up and uh, get us to a point where we're not going to just immediately die to this boss. So I want to thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please be sure to slay that like button. That tells the algorithm that more people need to see this video, and it'll push it out as recommended to more people. Um, it helps out the channel immensely, so please, if you enjoy this content, take just a moment to do that. Then, while you're there, uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already done so. Ring that bell for notifications so you can be among the first to know when I have a new video go live. And then check the links in the description below for all the cool things that I do. That includes a link to the Twitch channel where this series is being recorded live. If you want to hang out while I do the grindies uh, off screen and whatnot, Twitch channel is the way to go. Once again, oh, then head to the comment section if you feel like it. Give me any tips, tricks, etc. you have on um, leveling faster in this game. And uh, any thoughts you may have on the series as well. Also, if you just want to leave a comment to support the channel and boost the algorithm, but you don't quite know what to say, just say something along the lines of congrats on the evolution or, you know, let's get that grind. Something like that. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!